What's going on everybody? This is 40B Nasty. I'm here to show you something that you probably never knew I did and you probably never even heard of it in the hobby. So, a lot of people like to worry about zero TDS, okay? TDS is total dissolved solids. You know, this is good for if you're going to do like freshwater shrimp, if you're going to take care of a reef tank, possibly brackish. Well, I like to take care of my fish. I like to take care of my corals. I want to make sure I know what's going in my tanks before it gets in there. So this is what I do, and you've probably never heard of it, but this is all kind of a made-up system to be like a designated RODI system to give me zero TDS. So I'm going to show you what I do. Just follow along. It's all pretty simple. If you got any skills with the drills, this is all pretty easy. And literally, you will only need probably about two drills. Okay, so what you do is... You're probably looking at this five gallon bucket going, what's going on here? Okay, with well, this five gallon bucket, I've actually drilled out the bottom of it right here, just big enough to fit the size of the guts of a zero water pitcher. Okay, so a zero water pitcher looks like this. This is a six cup zero water pitcher. Now, there's a white piece that'll sit right here, and that holds the filter that goes down and filters into here. So then you can drink it. So this is for you, actually, if you want. It actually, the water is amazingly good tasting. People would say, oh, zero TDS is bad. But you know what? It's awesome. Everybody here loves it. So the reason why I do all this is because I don't live in a house. I live in an apartment. I don't have the luxury to go drilling into any piping. So this is what you might want to try to do if you live in an apartment. Or condo or something like that where you can't mess with your piping so here we go back to the five gallon bucket so I have a hole drilled out I took the guts to that six cup pitcher and then I put sealant all on the bottom of it and then I stuck it inside the bucket right here this is what it looks like I actually drilled four holes right here because when it's sitting upright I want all the water to get filtered out in through the bucket through the filter and when I took this and I sealed all around the bottom and then I pressed down on it and I left it like this with some weight on it overnight probably about 15 20 pounds or so so then that sealed and then I waited the next day and then I sealed that so now this is all sealed this is all watertight so what I do is, I can take these zero water filters that you can pick up at your Bed Bath & Beyond. You go get a coupon, it's like 20% off. Well, they come with this little lid, and this is the zero water fi filter. That's it. It's that simple. I can, anytime my TDS starts to rise, just go like that. Boom. Now I have zero TDS again. And for some reason, this Slim Jim bucket is amazing for filtering 10 gallons of water. I'll show you a real quick outside view of what this all looks like. I'll mind the camera work for a second. So that's all it looks like. And this thing's on casters, so I can roll this around wherever I want. I don't have to carry water ever again. That's what I filter my stuff through. Now you're probably like, oh, this looks like a pain in the butt. Well, I'm going to show you something real quick, how to make this not a pain in the butt. So, let me put this camera down, right? Okay, sweet. All right, so over here, I have my faucet. You're looking at this right here. This is a hair tie. You can get these for dirt cheap. These are the ones that women use. So what I do is I run my water for 30 seconds get all the lead out of the piping and stuff like that. The bucket handle holds that, just like that. I press down, slide this right over, and now I can walk away. And this will take about four to five minutes. Instead of using an RODI system, it's not going to cause so much wastewater. All this water is going to get filtered out. Now, the 20 cup and the 30 cup filters for the uh, zero waters, they're a pitcher. They come with a TDS. Now, 
This TDS meter has been amazing for me. It's never gone out of whack. So I'll show you what my tap water is. It's a uh, .060. I don't think it's that important for me to show you correctly what it is. The lighting's a little bad in here. Um, but I'm going to show you with this shot glass. Now that the water's filtering through, let me get in the picture a little bit for a second. And I'm going to show you how fast this fills up. That's how fast it fills up. Now, actually this is a little too much water to show you. All right. So right now, that's point zero six zero for my TDS. This is now zero. And I will show you on camera. See? That zeros across the board. I'll put it in the other one just to show you. See folks? Zero TDS is zero TDS. That's what I get out of this system. The time that I've taken this video is now six and a half minutes. I've already got it halfway full. If you can see these little slaps of duct tape. That's for like two gallons, this is for four gallons, just in case I want to measure something out a little bit less. But this is how I do my system. And I filter about 30 gallons into another bin, which is a 45 gallon bin. And then I actually use um, Fosgard, and I actually use um, the RS ROX8 carbon. And I filter that to a Tetra 10 for a day. And that actually pulls all the silicates out, well at least helps pulls it out. And it also is great for the carbon. That is the best carbon in the world. If you're ever looking for a good carbon, BRS ROX8. That stuff will suck anything out of a tank that you need out of there in 24 hours. But folks, this is how I do it. If you have an apartment and you need an idea or a solution, especially if you do like freshwater shrimp, or if you want a reef tank, and you only need about 5, 10 gallons, you can do 35 or 30 gallons like I do with that 45 gallon Rubbermaid bin. But this is how I do it. It's a little ingenious idea. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't hate me for doing this, but this is what I've been doing for about 3 years plus. Easy. Maybe even close to 5 years with my brackish water tank. But all my corals are healthy, as you've seen in my videos. But this is what it takes to get the job done right. And I prime this water um, with its, the prime, the conditioner. Now it doesn't take care of like detoxifying nitrites and ammonia and nitrates. Luckily I don't have that in my tap water. But what it does is it binds it. And when I have my carbon and I have my phosgard running on this water, then that will actually help pull any of that if it's in the salt or if it's in the water. But this is what I do. This is all filtered up. Uh, I just gotta wait about an hour and 20 minutes and this is done. It's a 40B nasty out. Take care.